Okay, I've temporarily hand tightened um, this hose, the new hose section. Put a double nipple in there and the new hose section on. And I'm going to use this in my attempt to flush the tank, clean the tank out. The plan is to keep this elevated like this and then fill up the tank with some degreaser and a jet of water and get it kind of agitated and going really good and then once I've got it filled up to a point uh, below I want to stay below the uh, the inlet here although I am going to undo this just in case we get any flow back out that outlet I don't want that going in there so anyways uh, theoretically we'll get about that much water and degreaser in there solvent and then I'll just drop that hose down and that way it'll run out kind of quickly and it'll help flush that tank and I'll probably do that a couple times okay I've got some of this purple power concentrated industrial strength cleaner degreaser uh, I don't know how much I got left in there but this is concentrated stuff so it's a water-based solvent uh, so you mix this with water and uh, yeah, it goes on to say you know might damage color fast surfaces and stuff like that but I'm not worried about that uh, let's see aluminum painted surfaces fabrics blah 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 it says wear rubber gloves because this stuff is caustic I did get some on my skin once and it has this weird effect where it just like super dries your skin your skin feels like it's got no oil in it whatsoever uh, let's see use adequate ventilation cover surface with purple power allowing time to dissolve dirt and grease uh, do not allow drying on surface being cleaned rinse with water do not use on exterior car surfaces blah 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 so all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna dump this stuff into the tank let it sit for a little bit and then I'm gonna use a water jet fitting on a hose to really get water zinging in there and agitating it and we'll fill it up and then we'll let it sit a little while longer and then we'll drop this line down and let it quickly run out and then we'll flush with water see this is a pretty uh, pretty good jet this thing throws so it should help uh, stir some things up down in there even though the uh, baffle is kind of in the way now I wish the tractor was perfectly level but even though it's not perfectly level it's level enough that I could see that this vent because it's lower than the return line fitting I should be able to fill this until I start to get something coming out of the uh, when I first start to see something starting to drip out of the uh, vent line there, then I'll know I'm at a height just below that. Oh, overfilled it. I had the hose in there and I heard it stop making noise and I realized it must have been up really high. This little valve faked me out. Usually when the valve, excuse me, when the lever's in line, that usually is the open position. Not on this one, so... That means I probably backed solvent and stuff up into my filter housing, which I was trying to avoid doing because my filter wasn't... I just put my filter in. It's brand new. Well, all right. So I got to uh, shut this off. I've got the uh, bucket over here that I'm going to dump into. It's a fairly clean bucket so that I can see all the good chunks of stuff that hopefully are going to come out when I flush this. So let's see. I guess I do want the vent still open and drop this line down okay it does look like there's some crap in there but I didn't see any really big chunks of anything come out. Uh, what I can do is I can actually dump that back in here and do it again. Oh, actually, I just realized that's right. I, I stopped it. I put the hose back up at five gallons. 
but I filled this up so high there's more than five gallons in there so I haven't emptied this tank yet so I dumped that and now we'll go back to dumping this so we're not really getting the I mean, this is draining from the bottom of the tank. Oh, there's a couple of chunks of something there. Just came out. I'll just let that overflow. Oh, yeah, look at that stuff at the bottom there. Ooh, yeah, there we go. There's some nasties. Good. All right, this is my first attempt with just flushing it with clean water. And again, we got another load of junk. Now, because the fact that that fitting uh, right there, that pipe going across, actually has to kind of go uphill a little bit to go over that rail, um, the tank, the bottom of the tank is actually lower than my outlet over there by a little bit. So, for that reason, now I got to pull my my two drain plugs here and drain out whatever's left in there. All right, I dropped the, took the two drain plugs out. I'm just gonna let this drip while I go in and eat supper and think about how to uh, solve the next problem I just created which is when I grabbed these drain plugs out I reached up and meant to put the drain plug right on top here and guess what I did I slam dunked one of the two drain plugs right into the reservoir so lo and behold somewhere in there is the drain plug oh, I sure hope it well, it's too big to fall down that little hole in the baffle, so I'm hoping it's right near the tops here somewhere and I can grab it with my magnet. Now, if that was just a regular drain plug, I could probably grab it with my little telescopic magnet here, but I don't know if that's going to work because this, these drain plugs have their own magnets on them. So that means wherever it is in there, it's probably right now having a tendency to want to stick to the inside of the tank. Ooh, I got lucky. Magnets on there aren't that strong. Judging from the pure slop that came out of the bottom of that tank, I think what I'll do now is maybe I'll, uh, well, that's just on the surface. It's water underneath. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna still flush that tank with water. Now with the drain plugs, I'll keep them out. All right. Now the other good thing about flushing the tank like this, through that, dropping that hose down and everything was, I was able to prove to myself that uh, there was no restriction inside the tank. In other words, there was no screen or something inside the tank that was causing a, uh, a restriction and causing that line to be sucked down because of not being able to, the pump trying to draw when it couldn't draw from the tank really. So that kind of rules all that out. I didn't think there was a screen in there because there's no access plate to clean it. And this fitting right here is welded in. So I mean, if they had put an inlet screen there, uh, actually that would be an outlet. So that's the out outlet, suction outlet going to the pump. So, you know, uh, make a long story short, there's no restrictions whatsoever. Now, the next question is how to get the water, residual water out of the tank because I don't want that water in there mixing with the hydraulic fluid when I put the hydraulic fluid back in. So, uh, could use compressed air. Problem is, uh, air doesn't really get in there very well because of the baffle. So, I think what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna use my shop back. So I think for starters, what I'll do is I'll put the hose on, put the hose on the uh, outlet of the vac, use it as a blower stick it down in the top there and see if we can't blow some out and let that run for a bit all right so wrap the rag around my hose i got my hose reduced down and then 
wrap the rag around it. I don't know how I might just blow out the second I turn it on, but I want to take this hose back down. Not much coming out of there. All right, let's fire it up. <laughs> working. So once the water stops flowing out, uh, then I'm going to continue to let it run so that the uh, air blowing through will have a, hopefully have a drying effect on the uh, tank. Alright, not getting anything else out of there. So now... Now, we're going to switch Mega Maid from blow to suck. Well, and as luck would have it, that uh, nozzle from my smaller hose there fits right in. So, now we're just going to switch this. Switch this over. If I want to create some extra vacuum, uh, I can just put my uh, cap back on. And I'm definitely getting some suction there. I can feel it. So, what I'll do is I'll put the cap on. And we'll close the vent. Now it's going to have no choice but to suck in right from the bottom, open drain plugs, and pull that water out. Well, it's getting dark. Time to shut it down. I think that's going to suffice.